Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have to say this is one of my favorite vlogs I've put together in a really long time because it combines so many of the things that I love. There's easy recipes, some grocery hauls, lots of home decor and home organizational tips, kitchen organizational tips specifically. I just moved into a new apartment in New Jersey, so I hope you enjoy this moving vlog. I hope it gives you some good ideas. Thank you to Thrive Market for teaming up with me and let's get started. I didn't make it very clear in the last vlog, but basically we're staying in New York City with Nicholas's uncle until the moving truck arrives and we can officially move in here, which is our new place in New Jersey. So that beautiful view of the river, that's in New York. And we have a beautiful view here too, but it's not on the water. So that's a different place. And that's where we've been for the last week. And we've just been coming here back and forth. We had our Valentine's Day dinner here, which you would have seen in the last vlog. And we've just been kind of unpacking our suitcases and Amazon boxes. So this is move-in day part one. I wanna show you the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is our oven. It is beautiful. My oven thermometer is actually on the moving truck so I don't know if it runs hot or cold but if you don't have an oven thermometer I really recommend getting one because every oven is a little bit different either below or over the temperature that you think it is. Got lots of shelves for storage. I wanted to do a spice cabinet here like a little spice drawer. This is going to be our silverware drawer. We already have some stuff fridge and I'm so excited to have an updated fridge. I had a really old fridge in my last place. This is the sink and it's one of these like that. So very easy for dishes. And then down here, we've got lots and lots of storage, which is good because I have lots and lots of kitchen stuff. I think this one is so cute. It's like this narrow little cubby. Probably put like cutting boards and trays and stuff in there. And we have a dishwasher, which I'm so excited about. If you've been following my videos for a long time, you know that I did not have a dishwasher before, so this is really, really exciting. So it's a couple days later, as you can see, there's a big mess behind us. We have way bigger of a mess actually behind the camera. Nicholas is putting together the couch. So we're gonna have some lunch and do a lot of unpacking. But I had to show you this pizza because we are so glad that Tony Bologna's exists because it's delicious. And we've had some other vegan pizza that's good, but this is just definitely the best so far. So, lunch time. <laughs> Tip number one when starting a project, don't do it hungry. I feel like a snack or a meal first is key. Then I talked to my friend Laura while I unpacked the kitchen and this is the part of the project that can get overwhelming because you gotta take everything out before you can figure out where it goes. So it's a big mess. My friend Catherine just sent us a little housewarming gift, literally warming gift, it's hot sauce. She said this Mary, Mary Sharp's hot sauce is one of her favorites, so. I will keep you posted. I feel like this would be really good on like breakfast burritos. So slight hiccup, this is the chaise that's supposed to be attached to this couch. This is the Quebec from Ikea and it's a little bit wrinkled right now but it smooths out um, pretty well. I've had this before but it's supposed to be a three-seater with a chaise but we just built it into a two-seater because we did not get the cover. As you can see this is like a different cover so we're missing that for the chaise so we couldn't put it together so for right now we've got a love seat <laughs> instead of a sofa so we're probably gonna have this couch for just a couple of days but I'm gonna style it and make it really cute once we have it all smushed and fluffed and built properly I think it's gonna look really cute this is the rug that I got from Amazon and I'm so excited to unwrap this because first of all it's very large and second of all it's very thin and I believe it can even be washed like the ruggable ones this was our first night in the apartment so I went over to Target and I got a couple of items to make a really easy dinner I mean really easy because I wanted something that didn't require a lot of kitchen stuff since my kitchen isn't really set up I got this kosher salt this is my favorite kosher salt and it's the one that I always use so I have had to grab that first thing. I also got some grilling seasoning, just a blend of garlic and spices. I figured this would be really easy since I don't have a cutting board to just get some pre-cut cauliflower, roast it in a pan with some olive oil and sprinkled on some all-purpose seasoning. And then I looked up to find. I love it, it looks so good. Good job, honey.
So when the living room was all set up, we put on some Netflix and dinner was ready. Love a tray bake. You can just put the veggie burgers and the roasted vegetables right on to a pan and have it all done at once. I made some burgers with tzatziki on one side, hummus on the other, a little lemon, a little lettuce and tomato, of course, and that was it. I did a double burger for Nicholas and I did a single for myself and then we both had a plate of cauliflower with extra tzatziki on top and this was so good. Good morning you guys, I'm just having some coffee and I've been in the kitchen trying to imagine where I want things to go. Like if I was there and I was cooking, what would I want to reach for? What would I want handy? Where would I want everything to be? And I saw Emily Mariko do some moving vlogs a year or two ago and she used post-it notes to put little labels on, okay, this is where the spatulas are, this is where the Tupperware is, this is where the baking dishes are, and it helps you kind of navigate your new kitchen a little bit better, and also gives you an opportunity over the next couple of days to see if that works for you. Here I've got plates and bowls. I feel like these are the bowls I reach for the most. They're from our place and they stack really nicely. I'll link them down below. I also have plates here and then I have more bowls up here and the smaller plates. We just use those less frequently. I feel like I reach for this and this quite a bit. So I have that on the lower level. And then here I actually put little notes. This is not for me. This is for Nicholas, by the way, still have not fixed the nails. But yeah, this is for Nicholas. Like when we're both doing dishes and it's kind of like, oh wait, where do the mugs go? Where do the glasses go? I'm gonna see if he likes this layout, but I feel like this will just help make it easy in the first couple of days when we're getting used to to where things go. Up here we just have some random odds and ends. I've got vases, I've got these little Norwegian dessert glasses which I think are so cute and they're just very fragile so I want to keep them safe. My favorite mug which I do use, um, I got this in London but it's like porcelain and I love it so much so I just want it to be safe. Same thing with this cute little teapot. This was a gift from Nicholas's mom so I've got that stuff up there just to kind of protect it. Baking dishes. Got pots and pans in here. On the shelf, we've got mixing bowls and cake pans. Utensils. I feel like this keeps sliding forward. I need to put something here, but I don't know. What do you guys put here to keep your utensil organizer closer? Because I feel like every time I go to open it, it looks like there's nothing in the drawer. See? Like it's like that. That looks like a scratch, but it's the wood. I thought that was a scratch too, but it's not. Yeah, so I don't know. What should I put here? Maybe more spatulas? This is rather temporary, but looking good for now. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this corner. I'm the kind of person, like my natural instinct is I want it bare, I want it really minimal and pretty, but at the same time, I don't wanna feel like I live in a showroom. I also really love Nancy Meyers kitchens where everything just feels very lived in, very functional, but in a beautiful way. So like big bowls of fruit, lots of spatulas, lots of things out on the counter, cookbooks out on the counter, just really feels like you could get in there and cook a delicious meal and you don't have to be too precious about it. That's the vibe. Like that's what I really want to achieve, but especially when you're in a new place or you have a new thing, you're a little careful and you want everything to be so delicate and organized. And so I'm kind of fighting that instinct right now. I'm trying to make a kitchen that is functional, but also pretty and organized and doesn't feel cluttered. That's what I'm working with over here. If you have any ideas or if you have any inspo, like if you're thinking right now, oh my gosh, I have a Pinterest picture that would be perfect for this, do let me know. There's a quick little grocery haul. I'm basically starting my pantry from scratch. So I've got a lot of basics, a lot of condiments, a lot of dried goods like oatmeal and crackers and nut butter and tahini. Got some peanut butter and jelly, tomato sauce and pasta. Also some curry paste, which is really easy to mix with some frozen vegetables and tofu with a can of coconut milk. It makes a really easy dinner, just put it over rice. So we had that actually the other day and it was delicious. After I put away the groceries, I made us some peanut butter and jellies and poured us each a glass of soy milk for some extra protein and calcium to round out the meal. I got these little spice jars that are so adorable and I'm gonna use these to create a spice drawer because I like when you open the drawer and you can see the labels right on front. I'm gonna write with a Sharpie just right here. Again, this is something I saw in an Emily Mariko video. I just found her moving content to be very, very helpful. And one thing she said that really sold me is when you have the clear glass jar like this, it really helps you to appreciate the beauty of the spices. It's also just very practical, even though it's pretty. I feel like a lot of stuff like this seems like it's purely aesthetic, but I think projects like this are actually the things that can help you make your kitchen feel like a space you really wanna be in and you actually find to be very functional 
because you can actually see all of your spices and you can easily reach for them. A lot of times when you put all of your spices in a cupboard, the most used ones end up at the front and then in the back you've got bay leaves that you don't even remember when you bought and you know, they just, they don't get used, they expire, they lose their fragrance and their aroma, they're not as tasty or fresh anymore. So having them out like this is not only going to be pretty, but it also will just make it to where I actually use the spices that I have. I placed a Thrive Market order and it's been really fun because this time around I'm just replenishing all of my staples and so I feel like I'm kind of building my kitchen from the ground up. So all of my spices I got on Thrive Market and I got like curry powder and nutmeg. I got Italian seasoning, some coriander, dill, because you got to make vegan ranch. You got to have dill for that. So I got a lot of stuff. I also got some taco seasoning. I don't think I'm gonna decant these, but this is just a great pantry staple to have on hand. You can use it obviously to make tacos, burritos, but it's also really good on like roasted sweet potatoes or if you're doing potato wedges or air fryer, or french fries or something and you wanna kinda of change up the seasoning, you could do some taco seasoning on there and you could dip them in like a cashew nacho cheese sauce. Like I'll put my recipe down below. That would be a really fun way to kinda of change up your typical potato routine. The spice jars came with a little funnel just to make it really neat and organized. And one thing that I saw Emily do was she did the bigger spices first, like red pepper flakes and dried fennel, stuff that's like a little bit chunkier. And then she went on to the more kind of finely milled spices after that. I also brought a lot of these jars with me. I like to put like pumpkin seeds and flax seeds, a lot of the morning related breakfast items that I like to just kind of sprinkle onto oatmeal or smoothie bowls or cereal bowls. I love these lids. They just make it really convenient. So I'll link these below. And then I have these larger ones and I'm going to put my pasta and my oatmeal and rice. Not all of my jars are super uniform. Like a lot of them are leftovers. Like this was, I think a jar of sun-dried tomatoes at one point. This was a jar of applesauce salad dressing bottle that I just washed out and I use as a salad dressing bottle. So I'm going to get started on this, but I wanted to thank Thrive for teaming up with me on this video because Thrive is an online membership based grocery store that I've been a member of since I feel like it's been probably five or six years at this point. It's been a really long time. And the main reason that I love them is there's guaranteed savings. So a lot of these pantry essentials that I use all the time, and even brands that I know that I like that I can find at other grocery stores, they're discounted on Thrive Market and they're shipped to my door in recyclable, eco-friendly packaging. They also have an auto ship feature where if there's items that you know you get all the time, like pasta, tomato sauce, peanut butter, oatmeal, you can have them auto shipped and you'll save even more money on top of the discount they normally have. The thing about veganism is that people think there's a lot of, you know, specialty foods and weird things that you need, but honestly, so much of the meals that I make is like my pantry essentials, and then I just add fresh seasonal produce to that. So like rice, quinoa, beans, pasta, spices, pasta sauces, condiments like ketchup and mustard and peanut butter and jelly, like very simple, ordinary, everyday stuff. And then I just add fresh fruits and vegetables to the mix and that's kind of the bulk of my diet. So I load up on Thrive Market and they have so much to choose from. So if you guys wanna check out Thrive Market, click the link in the description box below. When you join today, you will get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. So take advantage of that link and I really hope you guys enjoy it. There's so much good stuff there. So this funnel is a little bit wonky. I don't know if it's just the one I have but it's not quite round it's more like bent a little bit and it's making it to where the spices will get clogged so what I found is there's two things that make it easier the first is to kind of tap it on the side I thought maybe like lifting it up would help but it's really just tapping it on the side that pushes it down and then also I kind of tap the spices down on the counter to make them more compact it makes more space in the jar but it also helps to kind of judge everything along a bit. So if you have one of these and you have the same issue, that's what I recommend. The 
just showed Nicholas the spice drawer and the first thing he commented on was how pretty the spices were, like the colors of the spices because you can really see them in the glass jars like that and it kind of just displays how gorgeous they are and it was funny that that's what he noticed too. I'm gonna have dinner with my friend Chloe at a place called Blossom on Columbus. It's on the Upper West Side so that is my plan for the evening. We're currently in my office right now and I'm definitely gonna show you how I bring all this together and show you some kitchen updates in the next video but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps more people find my channel, boost the algorithm, does all the things. It really, really means a lot. So please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button underneath this video if you're not already subscribed and click the little bell button next to it because when you do, that means you'll never miss a future video. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.